Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Chris Vallee. So I also have these other socks called Remission, and they're a burgundy color that move into a white color. Jessica Baird is a teacher who lives with a rare autoimmune disease. So about four years ago, I started having some unusual symptoms like rashes and was getting um, a lot of upper respiratory infections, joint pain, so in all my peripheral joints, like my elbows and my knees and my feet and my hands, as well as some issues and inflammation and pain in my eyes, a lot of fatigue and feeling of unwell, so impacting my day-to-day -day living. After going through rigorous testing, Jessica was eventually diagnosed with enclosing spondylitis. And closing spondylitis is an inflammatory arthritis that affects your spine and your SI joints. So it's from your uh, neck all the way down to the base of your buttocks region. It's inf inflammation, so it's a very painful disease. It's degenerative. So through your treatment, you asked friends and family to send you socks, so why socks? It was a girlfriend of mine who has lupus disease, which is another autoimmune disease. And she said, go get yourself one pair of fun, silly socks to wear them to all your medical appointments to emotionally get you through the time. My teacher brain kicked in and to all the response of everyone asking how they could help, I said, send me fun, silly socks to emotionally get me through this. And I'll wear a fun pair every day of the year. So hopefully I could get 365 fun socks. Before I knew it, I received 10,000 pairs of socks. That amount of socks led to a global movement. I received so many pairs of socks, I didn't know what I was going to do with them. So I decided, why don't I reach out to other people on social media living with chronic illnesses and see if they would like some fun socks and pay it forward to emotionally get them through their illnesses. And so in the last four years, I've sent out about 8,000 pairs of socks to people all over the world living with chronic illnesses. And so the sock project was born. Word spread quickly and Jessica has been sharing her journey with people around the world. The response from the community has been received very well because they feel community. They feel the sense of what the Sock Project is doing and paying it forward and love and kindness and feeling supported. I get to see firsthand some of the socks that were donated. Chris, I brought some socks today to nice. show you from my, my uh, large collection. There's just six pairs here. I think my favorite pair of socks that I have designed called the dinosaur socks and I really enjoy showing them off and, and people will look at them and be like oh cool you have dinosaur socks on where did you get those and then it also sparks conversation in the community to say I designed these I'm actually the founder of the sock project oh what is the sock project so that's kind of a, a cool piece of of those socks as well the hope with the socks that I have designed is for money to go into research to help um, researchers figure out where these diseases come from, what's causing them, bring awareness to the community. So are there any future plans in the works for you? One of the main plans with the SOC project is to make sure that we're getting funding into autoimmune research. I'm also working with the Imagine Dragon Singers. They have enclosing spondylitis as well. They have some other autoimmune diseases that are in the same family as enclosing spondylitis, known as Crohn's and colitis and psoriatic arthritis. The plan is to get to Utah in uh, 2022 to give socks out to people at their Love Loud Festival to talk about the unknown diseases and as well as to spread some kindness and love, and love at, the, at the festival. Gifting socks to others enables Jessica to spread that kindness and love in a very simple way. Needless to say, she has a very special gift for me. I pay it forward to people and I give socks out to them to spread kindness and love and know that they're supported. You said that you really love dinosaurs, Aww, so you can take these dinosaur socks you. home That's with you so today. Kind. <laughs> I'm gonna wear them tonight. There you when go. I'm watching a movie. Enjoy. Nice and cozy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to get involved in the Sock Project, visit the Sock Project on Facebook.